Smokey the Bear by Jane Warner, pictures by Richard Scarry. Everybody knows that Smokey the Bear is the symbol of forest fire protection, but not many people know how Smokey got his name. And how many of you know why he wears a forest ranger's hat and a pair of dungarees? Let's turn the page and find out the whole story about this famous real life bear. It was a bright May morning in the mountain forest of New Mexico. Bear Cub followed his mother out into the sunshine. He sniffed the hot, dry pine smelling air. This was Bear Cub's first spring. He was still young and had a lot to learn. Mother Bear was busy teaching him how to choose the tastiest berries, where to find clear drinking water, and how to turn over a log to uncover a nice meal of bugs. But most important, his mother taught him, when danger threatens, climb a tree. One day, Bear Cub and his mother were out hunting tasty berries. Suddenly, Bear Cub's mother stopped and sniffed. Bear Cub sniffed too. There was something strange in the air. His eyes smarted. And off in the distance, he heard a great roaring sound, like all the winds blowing together through the tops of the tall pines. Bear Cub rubbed his eyes with his paws, but they still smarted and now a thick blackness was creeping toward them through the branches of the trees. All the creatures of the woods were fleeing from the roaring darkness, the deer and the squirrels, the rabbits and the birds. Hurry, hurry, the birds were screaming as they flew. Mother Bear pushed Bear Cub along ahead of her as fast as his feet could go, but it was not fast enough. The thick smoke caught up with them. Bear Cub could not hear his mother's voice behind him. When he turned, he could not see her. Bear Cub was frightened. What should he do? Then he remembered what his mother had taught him. When danger threatens, climb a tree. So up a pine tree, Bear Cub went. Around him, the forest fire roared and crackled. Flames licked at Bear Cub's shaggy fur and singed his tender paws, but he closed his eyes and just hung on. When he opened his eyes again after a while, he could scarcely believe what he saw. Instead of the cool, green, shady woods all around him stood hundreds of ugly, blackened sticks with trails of smoke still curling from them. Suddenly, he heard a friendly voice. It was a firefighting forest ranger. The ranger reached up and took Bear Cub into his arms. What's your name, fellow? Smokey? From then on, it was. Though Smokey could not understand the words, he knew the voice was kind. He knew the water from the ranger's canteen felt wet and cool in his dry throat. He knew the food from the ranger's pack tasted fine and felt just fine in his hollow insides. He knew the salve and bandages made his burned paws feel good again. Then the ranger took Smokey to the game warden's home. He liked to sit with the family and play with their little girl. I wish every boy and girl could meet Smokey, said the state game warden. He'd teach them how extra important it is to be careful of fires in the woods. Good idea, said another. The best place for him to meet boys and girls is in a zoo. So into a plane went Smokey the Bear, and away he flew to Washington, D.C., where he lives in the wonderful National Zoo. Every day there he meets boys and girls from all over the country. He likes to have them join his junior forest rangers to help him prevent terrible forest fires like the one that destroyed his home. These are their easy rules. Remind your parents and friends to break matches in two. 
When they can hold the burned end between their fingers, no fire is left. Crush out smokes and then use the ashtray. Drown campfires, then stir the ashes to make sure they are out. Never burn grass, brush, or trash on windy days. When they do burn it, they should have plenty of help. If you follow these simple fire rules, you will help Smokey keep the forest green. And always remember Smokey's motto, only you can prevent forest fires. If you enjoyed this read aloud and would like to hear more, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.